Joining me now is Rochelle Riley. She is the Director of Arts and Culture for the City of Detroit, but you know her as a voice from the Detroit Free Press as a columnist for years here in the city. Rochelle, it's great to see you. Thank you so much for having me. So tell me, how's everything been for you? Well, I can tell you, we were going gangbusters and having a great old time in January and half of February when we were talking about the new Office of Arts and Culture, Arts, Culture, and Entrepreneurship, and all of the plans that the mayor and I wanted to get started on. And then, of course, like everyone else in the world, we were hit with COVID. And everything now is about working together to help each other, making sure that these artists who I've been working with for the advent of new programming can now just survive the pandemic so that they can make sure that they're here and strong post-pandemic. Now, because of COVID-19, this crisis, the, the gigs are no longer there. Uh, the ability to be able to go and reach the public and interact in a live way and in a space is no longer there. What are some of the personal stories that artists are telling you about some of the struggles that they're having right now during, during this, this lockdown where we're all at home? You know, I, wanna, I wish I'd had it. I would have worn a t-shirt that says artists are people too. There's this sense that because you're an artist, no matter how you make a living, that you are well off. You're somebody who doesn't need uh, help or attention. And uh, quite frankly, uh, they are some of the people who need help the most. Because as you said, when the venues shut down and when the gigs were canceled and the exhibitions and book tours were canceled, I've talked to so many artists who have no income right now because all of their income was based on their talent, based on their appearances. Um, that's why Mitch Album and I got together to do this Metro Detroit COVID-19 Artist Crisis Emergency Fund. You'll hear me do lots of things with ACE, which is also the name of my office. Uh, it's vital that we raise some money to make sure they do it because they're not small businesses. So these small business initiatives do not help them. And some of them, because they're paid in cash, can't prove a lot of unemployment. So some of them are not getting unemployment benefits. So when I say they have no money, I want to come out of this where we have these brilliant people still in Detroit and they don't feel like they have to go someplace else because we don't love them, because we love them. So talk about ACE and what the plan is, um, a virtual tel a virtual telethon of sorts and performances. Um, talk about how that's all coming together and, and what we're going to see soon. I am so excited. We have artists sending in their videos from everywhere. Um, this fund is for Wayne and Oakland County because so many of our artists are in that whole area but perform and work and, and teach art to children in Detroit. So we're going to have this telethon that's based on uh, several of those video performances and it's gonna be artists either performing or showing how they craft or talking about their work. And Mitch and I will do some pleas in between to remind you how you can support them. But we also have people from all over the place, you know, I've asked actors and other musicians and supporters and just, you know, you'll be surprised by some of the people who are just sending these messages of encouragement and hope and, and reminding people to donate. So when you're talking about um, the fund, you're looking to raise, what, $50,000? Yes. Okay. And, yeah. um, and then how would you then distribute those, those grants to the artists? Well, as you know, the city of Detroit uh, and I do not touch the money. <laughs> I have no math skills. I would not want to. Uh, Metro Solutions out of Detroit, which is one of the best fiduciaries and which works with every other organization, is handling the applications, which are very simple. If you're an artist and we have money, you get it. And also handling the distributions, either via check or cash app or however an artist needs to get it. So they are coordinating the fund, which is a GoFundMe campaign that uh, you can find at DetroitMI.gov slash ACE. Yeah, I said that right. DetroitMI.gov slash ACE. It tells artists how to apply and it tells you how to donate. And they will be distributing the money. They will keep a list of everybody we helped because eventually I want to do an artist census so I can prove that we have more creatives than any other city in America.